One is we have f of g of x, and now what we're doing is we're taking the g of x function, 2x minus 1, and we're putting it over the f of x function. Okay. So now one thing we notice here is this one is all real numbers, right? We have an all real numbers here. This one is going to be restricted. All right, hopefully maybe by now you guys see it in your head. But if not, we'll work it out, Chloe. Um, but the main thing is, guys, since g of x is all real numbers and it's in the numerator, is it really going to be impacting our domain at all? No. no, right? So like, we don't need to worry about this. See, this one, when it was all real numbers but it was in the denominator, it changed, it changed our domain. So we really only want to be concerned about a, if there is, since there's no restrictions on the domain and it's in the numerator, we're not really going to be concerned about it. We're only concerned about the function that is restricted, as well as the function that is in the denominator, which in this case, that's the same function. So um, let's see. Let's figure out the domain of that. So again, the domain of f of x is going to be all numbers, 2x minus 1, which is greater than or equal to 0. So therefore, x has to be greater than or equal to 1 half. All right. Now, the other thing is, that's the domain of f of x, correct? But now we have to take into consideration the, that f of x is in the denominator. And we know that if it's in the denominator, it can't equal 0. So do we really want x to be greater than or equal to 1 half? No, because if it's equal to 1 half, it's 0. So all we need to do is just erase that. So that means x has to be greater than 1 half. So the domain is going to be 1 half comma infinity. A current point that a couple of students have asked, they say, well, Mr. McGowan, couldn't you simplify this? And yes, we could like rationalize the radical. There's other operations that we could do, you know, to like manipulate this. Um, I, I'm just giving you guys the forewarning. Like for your quiz, there's not gonna we're not gonna be looking at this. But obviously, if like the answer choices are not in this format, and they then yes, we can algebraically manipulate or simplify the equation to make it look like something else. But that's not really the focus of this lesson. Yes. Because if it is equal to 1 half, plug in 1 half here. 2 times 1 half is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. That's fine for that function. But when that's 0 in the denominator, we have a restriction on our domain. right? So we don't want it to be 0 in the denominator. OK, so usually adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing is pretty good with people. They're like, OK.